Oh man, it's like walking through the desert. Did I mention that it's like, I don't know, yesterday was 108 and it's supposed to be about the same today. Without this hat, I think I'd be dead by now. I'm about out of water, I don't have any food. And there's no shelter in sight. It's just the desert everywhere around us. So bad. I'm in such a bad way right now. I'm about to just dig a hole in this mud and lay in it. It's so flipping hot. You see that? Sweat dripping. Oh my gosh. I think we're about to come up on that white stuff. Maybe it's just all bird poop. <laughs> That'd be funny. Well guys, today I'm back out on the water. Uh, we're just gonna kind of paddle around, check out some sights, and uh, possibly do a little bit of fishing and drop some crawl dead traps. So, should be interesting. I've never kayaked around here, and uh, looks like the water level's a little down. I'll show you here in just a minute. It's pretty awesome looking, it really is. Turn you around so you can check out the view I got. I thought it was kind of neat with this sea of green around us. It's very, very lush looking. I think he's getting ready to set up a crawl dead trap right there. And we'll Check them on our way back. <laughs> well guys, we just parked our boats over here, um, pulled it up on to the bank. We're gonna do a little bit of walking around. There's an old town that was buried up here. See buried, when they put in the dam in this area, it flooded it all out. And so the town had to be moved. And there are still some remains of what was here before. So I. I've never been here, I'm gonna check it out. The water's down quite a bit and that's why we have a sea of green. It's already a notable foundation right up here in front of me. It's really neat. All right, so here's part of the foundation. Um, this is concrete with rebar in it. And I don't know, you kind of try to imagine what it was before. So that's a pretty good size pad and you can see these lines of vegetation through here. That has to be the crack in the concrete. That's just naturally what it does. And I'm sure some of these other stones that are just randomly put through here are parts of other foundations. Here's a piece of steel. I have no clue what that is. Probably will never know. But I love the past. The past really kind of tells a little bit of a story and I'll never know what the past is for this place but it might be interesting. There's another piece of steel here. I mean I, I don't know what that is. Very cool. You can kind of see you know just a little bit of trees here like there there and then there's some willows starting to come up into view. It looks like maybe a trumpet vine over that way. Um, but this is sort of a little bit of a higher ground in the area. And I also kind of wonder if that little creek that we went up was there before when, when the town was here. And that was just kind of the little creek that went by because a lot of towns had some kind of water source uh, going by them. Very interesting, maybe we'll find a shade tree. There's that trumpet vine. Walking on some old foundations here. That's pretty cool. That really shows you that there was was some kind of you know homestead or housing here. Here's one of the limestone, probably a cornerstone. You can see the old chisel marks in some of that. That is so cool. Here are what is this? Oh trumpet vine trying to pop out some buds there. Oh man, that's cool. Oh wow, so this would have been probably an older foundation of something. You can 
see it going through here. Man, the work that the people put in doing these would just be crazy. Man, look at these stones. Some of them have been chiseled, some of them haven't. A little bit of concrete right through there. And heck, an old, there's a part of an old road bed right here. You see the curb and the asphalt? Yeah, check that out. Wow, like look how close that road is to whatever building that would have been right there. That's so cool. Makes you wonder if it wasn't more of a, a ramp. Because you see how hard it grades down, but I don't yeah. know where the old river bed used to be. Well, yeah, true. And there's, there's a part of the road over there too and it almost looks like it just was gravel in between here sort of huh oh there's asphalt there too i guess yeah it kind of goes up and around yeah i don't know a foundation of some sort over here let's go check that out this uh i don't know what this to make of this it's got some kind of i mean this almost looks like a curb here and then a flat spot and then more of a i don't know Oh man, how cool is this? All this different pieces of metal through here. It looks like a, a like a clutch fork or something, doesn't it? Maybe I don't know what that'd be. Lots of cool pieces of metal. I want to check out this foundation right around the edge here. It just kind of sticks off into the air, and possibility of a set of steps right over there. Freaking looking around out here and found this old horseshoe sitting here too. Man, the stories these things could tell. I mean, who knows what that was? An old, I don't know. An old nail or a bolt. Could be. That's definitely a hinge. And uh, he noticed this right over here. I thought this was cool. An old pair of scissors of some sort. That is just so neat. Love it. Bet there's all kinds of goodies out through here. Who knows what parts of these things are? Lots of metal in this area. Well, here's that piece that I thought was a step. I cannot figure out what it what it really is. And kind of go around to this side. I don't know. It's hard telling. It's really rough though. Really rough looking-ish. Like the concrete work. Huh. Oh, check this out. I just, just seen this. This looks like some slag or something. Isn't that? I wonder what that is. Man, that's definitely a piece of slag of something. Like they, maybe they were torching something over here? Really hard to tell. This looks like a remnant of a old cistern or well of some sort. Of course, it's full now. You can see the water line coming out of it. Right there. Oh, something coming out this side. Maybe there's an old cistern or something. This is that old cornerstone that I thought was pretty cool. Just trying to meet up with the elevation of the ground. There's a lot of stone somebody had to carry and put over here. A lot. So yet another very cool find here. Check this out. Man, the handiwork that somebody put into that. This right here, I know what that is. That's an old weight for a window weight. Check out the tile work. Man, that is so awesome to see. And it's not just a really small area, it's a very large. I mean, it's pretty impressive because if this was, I don't know, a room of whatever sort it was, this would have been a large one. Because it covers a vast amount of area around me. 
seeing some more over this way too. So that tells me that it went on over here. Could you imagine the building that this had to have been in? Whoever had this building probably had money. I think it probably went off that way, but it just kind of cliffs off right here, so really hard to tell. Wow. That is a neat find right there. Here's a real interesting mixture. We got some limestone there. Very nicely laid out, almost like a nice road bed. And then they mix in some concrete right through here. This looks like it was some kind of curb at one point in time. And then shortly past that, it goes back to the limestone again. And that was pieced together very well. I mean, that's just impressive. It just keeps going. I mean, somebody. I don't. I just don't understand how they could find such awesome pieces. That's just uh, mind blowing to me. Here's kind of a little 360 of where I'm at. I'm nearest the highest point. Of the area but that's pretty much it what you see there what's left of it at least oh. so we've abandoned our boats back there because the creek just literally dries up to nothing and decided we we're gonna find out or attempt to find out I should say what all these white spots up here are so those are the white things up there if you can see them how's your feet doing in this stuff not too bad. Taking it a little farther than I'd like. To. <laughs> I'm starting to sink into it. It's quite mushy. I don't wonder how far away from that we have to get before it's not as mushy. Oh man. It's like walking through the desert. Did I mention that it's like, I don't know, yesterday was 108 and it's supposed to be about the same today? Without this hat, I think I'd be dead by now. I'm about out of water. I don't have any food. And there's no shelter in sight. It's just the desert everywhere around us. So bad. I'm in such a bad way right now. I'm about to just dig a hole in this mud and lay in it. It's so flipping hot. You see that? Sweat dripping. Oh my gosh. I think we're about to come up on that white stuff. Maybe it's just all bird poop. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right, the decisions is made. We're starting to sink in a little too far and we kind of feel like maybe we've seen it enough. It's just like this little rock pile. Who knows really? I think it's gonna remain a mystery. <laughs> uh, now the journey back. The long journey back to the kayaks, so far away. And the sun, it's like a blistering living hell, mate. Look at my shoes, I'm about to lose them. Oh, crikey, I got my Crocs on. <laughs> okay, obviously, I think I'm just having too much fun in that nice burning, Sun, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> oh man. Look, there's nothing even left of this bird. It died here, sweltering heat. I mean, that's it. That's all that's left. Not even bones or the carcass. All right. We are almost to our kayaks right there. We were trying to paddle up here to see how far we go. We couldn't see. The good thing we stopped where we did because, well, that's it. Earlier, so it's coming through here, it was quite shallow. So I figured maybe I'd dolly along my kayak. 